Welcome to the third module in Forging Success. My name is Dr. John Kenworthy, and now I'm going to ask you ever so politely to get off your butt. That butt with a single T, not two. I don't mean your backside, although you may need to uh, do that as well. I mean get off your excuses. You will recall I mentioned your two enemies that instill fear about the future. If only, and what if? Getting off your butt is dealing with one of those enemies, if only. It is sad, but most people in this world are held hostage by their past. They look at yesterday's mistakes and lament that if only they had done this or done that instead. Then all would be right with the world, and we do need to acknowledge the past, what went well, what went less well, we can't ignore past mistakes. If there was a failure, we just need to be honest about it. And that's the first step in this exercise. You're going to acknowledge the past. What happened? But lamenting the past doesn't fix it. Indeed, many people, by focusing on the past, simply repeat the same mistakes. I know that I did. Let me share a short story. A man died and went to heaven where he was met at the pearly gates by an angel. The two began to speak. Were you happy in the profession you chose for yourself on earth? asked the angel. I wish I had been, replied the man. My dream was to be an artist, but I would not have been able to earn a living. I was forced to work day and night in a factory in order to provide for my family. I had no time for anything else at all. Besides, my parents refused to send me to art school thinking it was a waste of money, and my wife told me that I had to be a realist and forget about my worthless dream. I started out as a factory worker and worked my way up to a managerial post, and then I was stuck there. It was a very responsible position, and many people depended on me for their livelihood. At some point, I realised that I had missed the boat, that I would never be an artist at such an old age. The angel listened intently and patient, a soft look Face. Tell me something, the man then said excitedly. While we're on the subject, who is the greatest artist of all time? That's easy, replied the angel immediately. The very man who is standing before me, it said, pointing to the man. Surely you are mistaken, the man responded. I have already told you that I did not have any time for art. That my friend is true, said the angel. But around here, you are thought of nevertheless as the greatest artist of all time. Thanks, of course, to your ability to tell tales and come up with excuses for not being able to. Human beings have a tendency to believe that their past decides their future. You remember I mentioned fear's allies, what if and if only. Well, yesterday is the if only enemy. I went bankrupt once. It was upsetting, humiliating and devastating. I could have reviewed my mistakes and lamented, if only I had, and continued to mope about what someone should have done or what they shouldn't have done, or I could learn from the experience and make sure that it didn't happen again. And failing that, I would adjust the way I ran my business, even when someone or something else should or should not have happened. I'd either be prepared with a contingency or adjust my response and keep we need to put the past where it belongs. Acknowledge what happened. Learn from it and adjust 